gorgeous ladies. For those of you who don't yet know me, I'm Coach Caitlin, the go-to body image and mindset coach specializing in self-worth and confidence. Today, I have a special training video for you with two of my favorite topics, body image and fashion. This training video is going to be for you if you're one of those women who does not like the way that your clothes look and feel on your body because you have a lot of bad body image days or you feel like what's in your wardrobe is not what you actually like to wear. In this video, I am going to discuss three things. Diet culture and body shaming. Why and how to acknowledge your negative emotions when you're having a bad body image day. Hormones and body fluctuations. And I also have a bonus. So if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I have a bonus challenge just for you. So to kick off, I want to ask you, if you were out with your girlfriend and you saw her wearing an outfit one day and she looked stellar in it, I imagine you would compliment her, correct? But if you saw this girlfriend, say a few days, a few weeks, or even over a month later, and she was wearing the same outfit and it looked different, say it was more tight in a certain area of the body, it just looked like it fit differently overall, it wasn't as appealing, would you tell her that she suddenly did not look good in this outfit? I imagine that you would not, which is why I pose the question, why do we do that to ourselves? So this brings me right to diet culture and body shaming. So if you're not aware, diet culture is this idea in society and the media that appearance is more important than health and well-being. And as women, we have been the most common victims of diet culture in society for centuries. And I myself was a huge victim of diet culture. I spent several years as a teenager throughout my 20s and right up until I was 30 um, suffering with body image issues. I struggled immensely with my arms. I have bulkier arms and my stomach. I was very self-conscious about my stomach rolls, especially when I sat. It took me a long time to accept and understand the biology of the body and that rolls were normal. Um, but yeah, I was hugely self-conscious and I was one of those women who would, I would hate my wardrobe. I bought what I felt like I had to buy that I would fit into, but if I didn't feel comfortable in something, I would be ripping off my clothes, sometimes so aggressively that I would actually get holes and tears in my clothes. I would throw myself on my bed, cry and scream, throw fits. Sometimes I would hit my closet. Sometimes I would like jab at my stomach itself. Um, sometimes I would not even want to leave. I would end up refusing to leave the house. I would um, have food to get me through and the food would make me feel better at the time, but I would feel worse after. So those are some of the struggles that I had with my body image issues due to diet culture. And so as normal as it is for women to have these emotions, the fact is it's not normal and it's not okay. Because of diet culture, we have this idea or this appearance in our head of the ideal body of how we're supposed to look and how things are supposed to fit our body. And because of that, we put ourselves down because the vast majority of us do not equal this perfect ideal body that diet culture and society portrays to us and suggests that we're supposed to have. So it's very mentally draining for women to deal with that and it causes us to therefore undermine ourselves and undervaluate ourselves and not know our worth. As a result, we think that we aren't worthy of wearing certain things. And that in itself, when we decide that we can't wear a specific outfit or wear what we like, unfortunately, ladies, we're doing exactly what society wants and we're undermining ourselves. We're telling ourselves that we have to look a certain way, fit into that mold, that ideal, to be validated and to be worthy and deserving of wearing certain clothes. And that's what we want to get over. And that is the reason we have so many bad body image days. So when you have a bad body image days, it's perfectly acceptable and necessary to acknowledge your emotions. Okay, so I want you to really process the next time you have a bad body image day, what are you feeling and why? What part of your body are you upset with? What aspect of an outfit on your body is bothering you? Why doesn't it look good to you and why do you feel like it's not okay to wear it? Acknowledge these emotions, process what you're feeling, but use as many adjectives as possible. Tell yourself, ugh, I feel fat, I can't wear this. Ugh, I look fat, I can't wear this. Be specific, what makes you feel fat? Are you maybe bloated for the day? Did you eat something that didn't sit well with you? Has your diet gone off track? 
Be very specific about why you feel that way and why that outfit is not making you feel good, okay? Once you process your emotions, don't go on with them. You can't let this carry on throughout the day and day after day because that's when we get caught in a really negative mindset and we spiral. So after you've acknowledged your negative feelings, turn them into a positive. Okay, I'm feeling gross because I ate too much pizza last night. But you know what? It's okay. I'm going to turn this around because I know the bloat's going to go away. I know I'm going to eat better today. And I know by tomorrow, my stomach is going to feel tighter and better just because I'm not going to eat as much pizza. Very simple example, but that's what's popping in my mind right now. So think about those things. Make them positive. If you have to, change your outfit, but try not to. Try and stay in your outfit and validate why it's still okay to wear that outfit. You have to think, when you put on something that's like more fitted and you're telling yourself that you can't wear it because you have rolls in your stomach or something jiggles, when you're buying things and wearing things that are larger, that's actually a behavior of um, your body image. You're trying to hide, you're trying to isolate yourself so people can't see your body. And again, that in itself is an act of undermining yourself. Wardrobe contains clothes that are larger than your size. Please pay attention to that. Okay, so this leads me to my third topic, hormones and body fluctuations. Like I just said, you could just be bloated from something you ate the day before. You have to remember, ladies, that our bodies change daily. There is so much that happens and our weight fluctuates literally every single day. So this can vary. Things such as pregnancy, obviously when you are pregnant, you're going to gain weight and you're going to gain a belly. But after pregnancy, stressors in work and life, your overall diet, genetics, if and how you're working out, um, so many, so many factors can affect the way that our bodies change. Obviously, menstrual cycle as well is a huge one. I think the vast majority of us get those hormones where we get lots of bloating when it's around that time of the month. Even your water consumption can change your body. So don't ever think that something doesn't look good on you or you are not worthy of wearing an outfit because your body has temporarily changed. That's something you need to get in your head when you're going through your negative emotions and making them positive because our bodies fluctuate, ladies. This is normal, this is biology, this is science, and this is more realistic than the ideal body presented to us by diet culture, okay? We are not perfect, and I freaking love not being perfect because that makes me me, and that makes you you, and that's what makes life diverse and beautiful. So be yourself and wear what you want to wear. It is so important that you reflect your style personality and your personality and your confidence through what you wear. Say that looking good is feeling good, sorry. And it's so true because when you wear what you want to wear, the real you comes out and you're automatically more confident and it looks so freaking good. So with that, I want to finish this training with a challenge for you. If you're still with me, this is what I want you to do. Preferably, I would like you to do this for seven days in a row, but if you don't have time, you can do three. What I want you to do is pick three or seven, if you do seven days, pick three to seven outfits that are your favorites that are in your wardrobe, whether or not you wear them all the time. I want you to pick three outfits and I want you to put them on. It's best if you do this in the morning because you're gonna try and get some positive flow and energy going and I would love for you to have that with you throughout the day, but if not, totally fine when you have time. This is something for you to do for you, for your benefit, okay? So grab your favorite outfit and you don't even have to look in the mirror. In fact, I'd urge you not to look in the mirror. And I want you to think in your mind while you're wearing this outfit, why is this one of your favorite outfits? So how does it make you feel? Do you feel more confident? Do you feel like the most badass mom? Do you feel like you're not a mom for a minute? Do you feel sexy? Do you feel like the hottest girl at the gym? Do you feel like you can conquer the world? What is it about that outfit that gives you the confidence and that you like? I want you to bring out those energies. Don't worry about how you think the outfit looks in the mirror and why you don't like the outfit that day but what makes you look good in it? And once you know you feel good, ask yourself, why in the heck am I not wearing this outfit if this is how I feel? 
Don't worry about diet culture. Don't worry about other opinions. Don't worry about appearance because I'm telling you, if it suits you and your personality, it is gonna bring out your confidence and you are gonna rock that outfit and no one is gonna approach you and tell you that it is too tight or it doesn't fit. More than 90% of the time, that is in our head, that is our mindset, again, ingrained in us by diet culture and society and the idea of perfectionism. So we need to work to let go of it. So with that challenge, I would love for you to report back, let me know how it went, how it worked for you, and we can even talk about next steps that you can do after that. If you found this training helpful but you're still not sure where to go, please reach out to me. I have a new program in place called My Body, My Life, and this is one of many topics that I go through in depth in My Body, My Life. Um, It's a fabulous new program and I work independently with you one-on-one to really reprogram your mindset so we get rid of these bad body image days and really flourish in who we are and transform and take control of our lives. With that, I am Coach Caitlin, the go-to body image and mindset coach specializing in self-worth and confidence. It was a pleasure. Please comment and let me know if this was a beneficial training for you and I have more coming your way. Ciao for now. Bye.